Hi there, and welcome to The Perspective on Bolita Sato. I'm Blaise Hope. With me in the studio is the senior editor for the Jakarta Post, Indy Bayuni, and His Excellency, the ambassador of India to Indonesia, Gurjit Singh. We're here to talk about the new book, Masala Bumbu, uh, celebrating links, current and future, between India and Indonesia. Um, Your Excellency, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Blaise. We'll start with you. So why this book? Well, when I was here about two years, I came to realize that India and Indonesia have a very strong heritage of strong links. Mm -hmm. And there's an immense uh, anticipation of each other and an expectation. But somewhere, I think, there was an attention trough that we were stopped thinking about each other too much. So let's say the essence of this book came in trying to get Indians and Indonesians to think more about each other and set an agenda, what we can do together to modernize this relationship. How you you bring in uh, prominent cultural figures, uh, media figures to um, to comment in the book? Uh, how did you go about collecting people to do that? <laughs> that was a difficult task. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I collected a lot of my friends, and I made many many new friends. The idea was we chose a set of subjects. And then we said, OK, we must have one Indonesian and one Indian writing about the same subject. And let us see where we come from, and can we find some common ground. So sometimes the subject dictated the writer, and sometimes the writer dictated the subject. We had a good person, say, like Andy Bayoni. And mm. of course, it's media, but media was one of the things. So when we found an Indian person, an editor to write about the media. So that is how we went about it. But the idea was to be forward-looking. So some are very uh, easy to understand things like democracy, economy, media. But then we have gone into new areas, sustainable development, uh, the non-traditional threats, corporate social responsibility. And these have also formed part of the book. So Andy, how are you brought into this? Well, I've been a close friend of India, a close friend of the ambassador. It was not that difficult for him to twist my arms <laughs> and then take part in the book uh, project. It's a great book, and I think it, it also re a reflection that uh, India has so many friends in Indonesia, you know, the fact that there are so many pre prominent figures contributing uh, to the book. So is the goal of this to solidify that relationship, or what is it exactly does it hope to achieve? Uh, I think it's, uh, yes, definitely to bring Indonesia and India closer. Uh, as w We are all aware of each other, uh, but I think the re that relationship is not there yet. Uh, for some reason, I think there were uh, many factors, like in the 60s, the Pakistan war, and then Indonesia had to decide on taking which sides. I think the Cold War, in spite of the two countries, were you know play, playing a prominent role in founding the non-aligned movement. Mm -hmm. But I think somehow we drifted apart. Uh, but yet, we also realize that the two countries, we are, have so much more in common than we realize historically, mm. even politically, yeah. and even geographically, we are not that far apart. Uh, but mm. somehow that relationship is not there. I think this book is very important in, 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 in bringing that, uh, in making that happen. Yeah. Mm. I fully agree with Andy. You see, one, geographically we are so close, and yet emotionally we are so close. But somehow, strategically, we had gone apart. So the idea was that how do you recreate the warmth of the 1945 to 55 period, mm -hmm. which was really the high point at one point. And I think from- He came with the Bandung Conference. Well, 55 is Bandung Conference, yeah. but let's say 45 is when India and Indonesia are both trying to get independent. And so that anti-colonial struggle is mm -hmm. what binds us together. Our leadership was very close. Then, of course, there was an interregnum of slightly divergent worldviews. Yeah. And perhaps our own domestic agendas were different. But I think certainly in 2005, we have both become strategic partners. And I think the story is being rewritten. Now, this new story needs many new actors because we live in a different world. Mm -hmm. So in the old days, it was still the radio which basically governed. Today, it is social media and television and much more. So there is a lot of new things we need to do. And that is why I think Andy's chapter on this. And there's another chapter on digital uh, co cooperation which we have got. I think these show the new direction that we need to take. The media, for instance, yeah. I mean, anything you read in, um, in, in Indonesia, written on India, is from a Western news agency and vice versa. Mm -hmm. I don't think that is a symbol of closeness. Yeah. So we really need to look at how can we look and talk about each other directly. So that is one of the essence, essential points of the book. Let's uh, go into um, that relationship and that familiarity in modern times uh, in the media just after the break. We'll see you in a moment.